issues of racial injustice are about the godness of God and the humanness of humanity. Jesus says, you honor the prophets, and yet what the prophets said to you was from God. And the prophets told the people of God that they could not serve Baal and God. Baal, the fertility god, existed to prop up the status quo, to bring prosperity to the people on their own terms. The God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, though, is not a useful God. He is Lord. And yet time and time and time again, when told they could not serve both, the people of God tragically often chose to worship Baal but to rename him God. And time and time again in the white American Bible Belt, the people of God had to choose between Jesus Christ and Jim Crow because you cannot serve both. And tragically, many often chose to serve Jim Crow and to rename him Jesus Christ. But the signs that were in this city 50 years ago, I am a man, sent a double message that's true at both ends. I am a man. I am created in the image of God. I am bearing the dignity that comes with an image bearer of God. I am not invisible. I am not disposable. But those signs also point out to those who are looking on, you are just a man. You are just a human being. You are not a God. You are a creature. Jesus says this is a dangerous place to be because he says, religious leaders, you're able to come here to these tombs and to these monuments and say, if I had lived in the days of my fathers, I would not have murdered them as my fathers did. Your fathers, Jesus says, would not have minded the prophets either if the prophets were dead. Your fathers would not have minded the prophets either if the prophets would not speak. And now that there is no need to worry that they will say anything else, it is easy to honor them. Martin Luther King is relatively non-controversial in American life because Martin Luther King has not been speaking for 50 years. It is easy to look backward and to say, if I had been here, I would have listened to Dr. King, even though I do not listen to what is happening around me in my own community, in my own neighborhood, in my own church. But Jesus Christ is not dead anymore. 